the previous lesson, we were looking at how we can use Copilot to help us out when it comes to formatting our table data. And if you're wondering, well, I want to know how I can use it to construct formulas, well, this is the lesson for you. And we're going to start out by talking about adding columns. Now, remember that Copilot currently can only work with data within a table. So if you're expecting it to be able to output formulas to different cells outside of your table, it's not going to be able to do that at this stage. As I keep reiterating, we're still in the very early stages of Copilot. So Copilot currently can only work or can only construct formulas and add them as columns to the current table. So let's take a look at that in action, first of all. Now, if we take a look at this data set, I can see that I have a price per unit column, I have a units sold column, and then I have an operating profit column. But what I don't have is a total sales column. And the total sales would be a very simple calculation of price per unit multiplied by units sold. So I'm going to use Copilot and get it to add this column into my table. So let's go down to our prompt area, type in our request. So there is my prompt, calculate the total sales by multiplying the price per unit column by the units sold column. Let's see what Copilot does with this. Now you can see there it says generating formula column suggestions. So I'm quite interested to see what it comes up with and check out what it's given us. If we scroll up a little bit, you can see it says, here's a suggestion for you, calculates the total sales for each row in the table by multiplying the price per unit by the number of units sold. And then underneath, it's given us the formula it's going to use. And I could see by looking at this, that this looks to be correct. Now, notice underneath, we have a little explain formula drop down, and this is going to go through exactly what the formula above is doing to help you understand. So this is actually a brilliant little feature, particularly if you have received a spreadsheet from a colleague or maybe somebody else, and maybe they've got a formula that's quite complicated in a cell and you don't really understand what it's doing. What you could do is click on that cell and get Copilot to explain what the formula is doing to help you understand. So from a learning perspective, this is brilliant. Now, what we want to do here is we want to add this formula as a column in our table. And notice at the bottom, we have insert column. Now, just before we do this, as a side note, it's also worth noting that when we get any of our results in Copilot, we get the opportunity to give it a like or give it a thumbs down. So this is going to feed back into the system and really help Microsoft understand which features are working and which features aren't. So I'm going to give this a little thumbs up and you can see immediately it takes me to a little pane where I can give some feedback. Now you might not want to be doing this in the middle of a formula when you're busy, but this is really going to help the product going forward. So I'm not going to include a screenshot. It's asking me if I want to share my prompt and the generated response. Now, I don't mind in this case, I'm going to say yes. Of course, you could say no. Maybe contact you about your feedback. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's click on submit. So now that we've given our feedback, let's click on insert column. And you can see it's inserted that total sales column on the end there and it's performed the calculation. And if we click in any of these cells, much like any other formula, you can see it up here in the formula bar. Now it's always going to add the new column onto the end of the table. So if you want this column in a different position, you could try and get Copilot to move it for you. A lot of the time it's just going to be quicker to move it yourself. So I'm going to select the column and I'm going to hold down shift and drag it into the correct position. And what we should find is that total sales is just price per unit multiplied by units sold. What other calculations might we want to perform on this data set? Well, I can see here the operating profit for each record in this table. And maybe I want to find out what percentage the operating profit is of the total sales. So let's ask Copilot. So I've written a longer prompt here and I've been pretty specific. I've said add a column that calculates the operating margin based on the operating profit and total sales. Use percentage format with zero decimal places. Let's send it through and see what Copilot can do. So let's take a look at what it's come up with. 
So it says this formula calculates the operating margin for each sale by dividing the operating profit by the total sales. Sounds good so far. This provides insight into the profitability of each sale in the table. And then underneath we have the formula operating profit divided by total sales. And once again, if we expand explain formula, it's going to give us a bigger explanation. So I think this looks pretty good. Now, if you want to preview this before you actually insert it, just hover your mouse over insert column and it's going to go down. It's going to show you a preview in the table as to what the column is going to look like. So it's not until you actually click on insert column that it's going to put it into the table. So that is exactly what I want. Let's click on insert column. And once again, I'm just going to move this column. So we are looking good so far. What else can I do? Well, maybe I want to add a total row to the bottom of this table. So I've just pressed control down to jump to the bottom. I want a nice total row just here. So I'm going to ask Copilot to turn on the total row for this table. Let's hit enter. And there we go. I can see we have a row added. Let's scroll across, make sure it is the total row, which it is. And now what I can do, if you're not familiar with total rows, is I can specify which rows I want to total. Now you don't necessarily just have to total the values. You can click the drop down and choose average, count, min, max, whatever you like. Now I can see over here it's put a number in a column that doesn't contain any values. So we're going to change that. We're going to say none. And maybe I'm interested in totaling the total sales. Let's do a sum and I can double click to widen that column out. And I'm also interested in the sum of units sold and the operating profit. Let's do that one as well. So once again, we've got Copilot to do a calculation indirectly using that total row. Control up arrow to jump to the top of our data set. Now, the final thing I just want to show you is how you can ask questions about formulas to Copilot and get an answer. For example, I could click in my prompt area. What is the syntax of the sum ifs formula if I want to calculate the units sold by region? Let's hit enter. Now, this time it's given me an explanation. It's showing me the syntax of sum ifs and it's telling me what I need to do to change this formula so that I'm calculating units sold by region. And you can see then underneath it has exactly what that's going to look like. So the point here is that you can also use this prompt area to ask questions, get feedback, get help as to what type of formula you need to use on your data. So those are some of the ways that you can use Copilot to help you out when it comes to formulas.